goodie with my motherfucking ninjas anime analyst here and we're covering some of the new screenshots that came out for Naruto Storm 4 and regarding their story mode of course I got my boy Edo Oreo with me good in this bitch yep so we in this hoe and so we know a couple days ago we actually got the Sasuke story screenshot got word that Sasuke would actually get his own story mode for the game but now just recently a couple hours ago the Naruto Twitter released a Naruto story mode pick that looks the same as Sasuke's. It has a little fire, uh, little fire paths and a trail that lead up to like different missions and stuff. Like e each flame in the picture is a different mission and it has it up in like the top right corner. So I'm thinking that maybe we won't even get a free roam in this game. The story will just be put into basically a story mode where you don't have to walk around where you just click on the next mission by going through these little paths on each character's story and just going through that and without having to walk around so uh what do you think about that Oreo? um i think the same thing but uh it also could be you know how uh storm 3 for burst how they had theirs where it uh clicked in but it still had some sort of like roaming around feature uh with sasuke towards the end of Storm 3 full burst story could be like that or they could just you know fuck us over and hit us with the no free roam at all I mean yeah definitely like there's a chance that we might still get the the free roam but I mean at this point in time of course they already hit the, hit us with the delay so they got the six months so I mean if they're taking that time to actually put in a free roam that would be a Probably, that could be a reason for the delay but at the same time uh, it's kind of like a ninja timeline that they had from the previous games and also the game that that launched on PSP kind of a little bit before Naruto Generations it launched it was called Naruto Impact and it had a similar system to this where you had to actually have a character road path that you just walked down and did like various different missions from the fights you were supposed to do so there's like little side missions that look like the stuff that branches out a little bit on the pictures so this definitely looks like some main battles and it has like some side branches out and then at the end it has a big flame that's probably representing like one of the huge fights that Naruto and Sasuke both come together but on Sasuke's side it has him starting at uh, when him and Orochimaru meet so it's gonna have a whole bunch of battles that never happened in the manga so it's gonna have Sasuke versus Orochimaru so basically all the events that happen in the ma manga are gonna be broken up into ba actual battles for the sake of the game's gameplay so Sasuke starting with Orochimaru and then we have Naruto leaving off where Storm 3 left off when he broke Tobi's mask as seen in the artwork on Naruto's side of the picture so uh, definitely it's definitely continuing straight off from where Storm 3 left off since storm 3 sasuke's part left off technically uh after sage kabuto boss battle so sasuke's picking up now with the uh, roshimaru uh, little gang pickup so yeah yeah but i'm also disappointed because you only get mainly you only get the separate battles uh with are the orange and the blue um and my hypothesis i think the uh purple ones are you know occurring where naruto and sasuke are both there not necessarily they can like interact oh. with each other but they yeah, are both sense. in the same area and so i'm thinking just the different battles are just the orange and the blue and then um the purple ones are where they uh have like the same take and you just see the different uh viewpoints because if you look oh, at the last shit. one all you see is um the three yellow ones and i think that could represent uh biju Madara, and biju obito and the last one being kaguya and we both know that uh naruto and sasuke were there at that time so that's why those are purple leading up to the biju obito uh, Madara, and kaguya battle you know you you're i yeah i definitely think that this is a your hypothesis is correct because now that i'm looking at these screenshots they're ba they're the same road map they both exactly. are the same except on sasuke's picture the blue is highlighted and then on naruto's picture the orange is highlighted so the top like all the orange is naruto all the blue is sasuke and of course like you said the purple is where they both are in the same thing so it all leads up to like those three last ones they're all going to be together and of course the purple ones are going to be together. dang bro good fucking observation 
Damn, bro. You caught that shit. I didn't even catch that shit, my G. Like, damn. Yeah. I was sitting over here looking at these shits like they was two different fucking uh Hell no, I get bro. It was so easy to see these bitches are the same. I was like I was looking, I was like, wait, these are exactly the same. It's just Sasuke's oh, yeah. blue and Naruto's orange. I was like, oh fuck. And I'm guessing that they're gonna have a different artwork artwork for the background of each uh point. So when you move to the next point, I'm feeling that the artwork in the background is gonna change according yeah. to the scenario that's occurring, so I definitely think it's just going to be dope going through this because this is all one mode basically it's just that you can go down so I mean definitely I don't for since this is happening right now I don't really think there's going to be a free room I don't see the purpose like I, I really don't care for it anyway I just like doing the battles like it is right here like I don't feel like traversing across the fucking world running at fucking point twenty five miles per hour and shit so yeah but also you see like little white specks, like the little dots, and then you see how, you know, the black part is kind of black, but it's not me, I believe. So maybe these white dots could be like uh, a free one where you gotta get to your destination, I'm not sure. I just oh that. yeah, they could be like a traversal uh, little pet, like you mean where they split, right? Where they come to, like come together and then yeah. it goes to the purple? Yeah, I mean that could be like a little where you have to run to your next thing. Yeah, that definitely makes sense when it comes to actually throwing in that immersive experience while at the same time giving you that core gameplay that you want. It definitely makes sense. So, yeah, people, uh, tell us your thoughts down in the comments below. We basically analyzed this completely, and that's pretty much all we got to say. Do you think there will be a, a actual free roam? Uh, traversal system like they didn't have like they did have in storm 3 leave that down in the comments below uh yeah anything else Oreo? not much yeah well uh thank you guys for watching leave a like and we out this bitch peace peace